welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions today we will be doing the bullet journal bullet journal flip through for the rest of this journal because i'm done with it and in october i will be starting a new one so i figured it's kind of time to show you where we are at so without further ado because i do not want this to be an age-long video this is the beginning of it this is the beginning of 2022 that's the last thing you saw in the last video now this was the review for last year this i don't think i'll ever open up these are like events that have occurred and will still occur now january you will notice that back when i was still in university sometimes it was a bit of a mess because i lost my shit <laughs> so i will only explain the things that i think need to be explained not that much reading done as you can see now february this was a mess i literally printed it out and just put in like the exams and stuff and i had no will to do anything because february was exam month i was absolutely miserable this was absolutely the worst month this year this was a mess this was literally just me bitching about university now march is a bit more pretty this is from saga the newest volume that came out i just kind of like the aesthetic this was for the read the phone now here i tried out something with like i keep experimenting with weekly logs because i never really like them when they're the same all the time now i kind of like the color scheme i never really like pink but this turned out pretty much okay this is where I got into Stardew Valley, which frankly, not, not the greatest decision of my life. This was for my birthday, and then we go into April, which was also a mess, but I do kind of like the way that this looks. There's a lot of the blue washi tapes. I kept printing this stuff out for notebook therapy because I was very, very lazy here. April is the month that I went back to face-to-face -face classes, which was also the worst. This is just a lot of my complaining this was bsd month as you can see i did underrated anime even though i've not even seen that many then we've got may which was sort of supposed to be like an academia theme but it's it's just brown <laughs> here yeah a lot of manga this i actually did that <laughs> for noragami like little slipcase because i like seeing the covers but i also don't like wasting a lot of space so this was may the 4th this is the second may the 4th in this bullet journal and i kind of like this one a bit better it's cleaner then we've got june which was supposed to be like yeah like a letter aesthetic or something with like the the calligraphy and the stamps and stuff didn't really come across did it this was also a very weak month, but again, exam month. Then we've got, this is where I wrote July and I made the mistake. We've got the pre-order log, but that's like pointless because I'm changing journals now. Then we have July. This was a mess because I didn't use it in July. I went to the seaside for like two weeks, which is why you're going to see that it's fairly empty. But it still looks kind of nice with the sea aesthetic and the greens. This is probably my favorite color scheme, I have to say. But book-wise, yeah, I did all of this before I left. It's Tokyo Ghoul and, like, Watchmen. That was pretty much it. But it looks so nice when it's full like this. Then this was from my holiday. And then we've got August. Again, a bit empty. But I don't feel like filling in the space just because I have to. And then we've got, like, a Studio Ghibli tracker that I did. The only one that's left is... My neighbor, my neighbor's the Yamadas. <laughs> so, and then we've got September. September, I tried to cram in here because I didn't want to buy a new bullet journal. So it's a bit empty-ish. Then we've got the calendar. Then we've got this. It's a bit of a mess because the marker is a brush pen. And then we have books read, which is kind of a spoiler. But then I did like an end end of the journal thing where I did end pages and then in the middle i did like best anime of the year my favorite characters per anime movies i've seen and that kind of stuff 
And then we reach the end with the sight of the stars makes me dream. The pocket is full of crap. <laughs> I'm going to have to transfer into the new journal. You can see how full this is. But I don't know what to say. I genuinely enjoyed filling this in. I loved how chunky it is. I love how it's more of a scrapbook than a journal because I just love the aesthetic of it. And I definitely think I'm going to keep doing this in the new one. I don't love the white pages, I have to say. I don't love how white the pages are because my last bu bullet journal had cream pages. But unfortunately, the only one with thick paper I can afford is notebook therapy and it, they don't have cream pages. So this is kind of it for the video. It's probably the shortest I've ever done, but I still thought I'd do it. Like it's too long for a short, it's too short for a video. So this is just like a small glimpse into this first very fancy bullet journal that I did. It's a lot prettier than the last one, but I am still very much experimenting because I get bored very easily. That is kind of it, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.